Microsoft has been opening these facilities around Africa to empower young youth with skills in technology. But this is the first app factory in the world to be opened in a refugee camp. No wonder he was family fled violence in Rwanda when he was five years old. He's 20 years old now and thinking about his future. For sure, I am not willing to go back there. Yeah, I'll do my coding and yeah, I hope I'll succeed. I can be a freelancer programmer, yeah, and do my businesses, yeah, and at the end of the day, I can make money sure, and help the community at the same time. His idea is to create a mobile phone app to help medical workers at the camp keep track of patients and their medications. Zaleka is a permanent settlement in Malawi. It is a home to nearly 30,000 refugees, mostly from the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, Burundi, Rwanda and Somalia. Many families have lived here for 10 years or more. The learners want to become self-reliant. I want to make sure I grab all the knowledge that is uh, on how to, up, to, um, to create applications so that I should be like among those who are making money, uh, who are like, who are doing well. By the end of the 12-month training, the students should be able to create Windows software, make websites and create mobile applications. The many languages spoken at the camp are a challenge to the program's one instructor, a 23-year-old self-taught techie named Reme Gakwaya. He himself is a refugee from Burundi. I try to, to explain according to the, uh, the one who didn't understand maybe in English, then I have to interpret in Swahili. If that's not making sense still, I try to interpret in a very local language that we, we understand each other. Malawi prohibits refugees from working outside the camp, so for now, the learners are focused on finding tech solutions to challenges within the camp like health care and the protection of women and girls. Lamek Masina for VOA News, Zalega, Malawi.